Hey everyone, and today I'll be covering how you can easily get a Brazilian IP address no matter where in the world you're located. Whether you're trying to unlock local content, access Brazilian banking services, or just browse as if you were in Sao Paulo, I'll walk you through exactly how to do it using a VPN. I'll also compare the three best VPNs for this based on speed, privacy, and streaming performance, so you can pick the one that makes the most sense for you. Now for this demo, I'll be using ExpressVPN, but the steps are basically the same with NordVPN and Surfshark as well, and you'll find links to all three down in the description, including any discount codes that are currently available. So once you've signed up for your VPN, the first step is just to download and install the app. Whether you're on your phone, laptop, or something else, the setup is pretty quick. Next, launch the app and log in with your credentials. From there, you'll want to open up the server list. On ExpressVPN, just go to VPN locations and then choose all locations. Countries are organized by continent, or you can use the search bar to find Brazil even faster. Now, ExpressVPN gives you two server options in Brazil. As for Nord and Surfshark, they each have one server. You can either double click the country name or click the little arrow to pick a specific city. And once you're ready, just hit the on off button to connect and you're good to go. To confirm it worked, you can go to a site like whatismyipaddress.com and you should see a Brazilian IP address. At that point, every site you visit will treat you like you're browsing from Brazil, even if you're thousands of miles away. So now that you know how to change your IP to Brazil, let's take a quick look at the three best VPNs to use especially if performance, privacy, or streaming access are priorities for you. Starting with ExpressVPN, this is the one I'd recommend if you're after something that's fast, extremely easy to use, and backed by one of the strongest privacy track records in the industry. They currently have over 3,000 servers across 105 countries, including two in Brazil, and everything runs on their lightweight protocol, which was recently rewritten in Rust for even better security and performance. In my tests, average speed loss was around 18%, which is still fast enough for streaming and downloading loading without any buffering. But what really sets Express apart is how well it protects your data. They've had over a dozen third-party audits, including firms like KPMG and Cure53, and all of those confirmed their strict no-logs policy. That's a huge plus. They also support up to 14 devices at once on their pro plan, and apps are available for just about every major platform. So for anyone who values transparency, simplicity, and consistent speeds, this is a great option to consider. Now if speed is your top priority, and you like having access to some advanced privacy tools along the way, then NordVPN is the fastest of the three. They've got over 7,800 servers in 165 countries, and when using their Nordlinks protocol, the average speed loss was just 3%, which is about as fast as it gets. You also get a few bonus features here, like Threat Protection Pro, which blocks ads and malware, and works even when the VPN is turned off. There's also something called Nord Whisper that's built to bypass advanced censorship, which can be useful in more restrictive regions. It supports 10 devices at once, and like Express it also has a strong track record with independent audits. So for anyone who wants the fastest speeds along with some advanced privacy tools, NordVPN is a great pick. And finally, there's Surfshark, which is easily the best value if you're trying to keep costs low, but still want a full-featured VPN. They've got around 3,200 servers in 100 countries, including one in Brazil, and the performance has gotten much better over time. Speed-wise, it's now in the same range as more expensive providers. You also get unlimited device connections on a single plan, which makes it ideal for families or households with lots of devices. And Surfshark includes some helpful extras like CleanWeb for blocking ads and pop-ups, dynamic multi-hop for double encryption, and a no-borders mode that helps in restricted areas. So for anyone who's budget conscious or wants something that works well across a lot of devices, Surfshark is definitely worth considering. So overall, if you're leaning towards something that's polished, incredibly easy to use, and backed by some of the strongest privacy protections available, then Express is going to be your best bet. It's a great option for anyone who wants reliable streaming, secure browsing, and peace of mind from a provider that's been thoroughly audited. Now, if speed is your top priority, and you like having access to some advanced privacy tools along the way, then NordVPN is the one to go with. It's ideal for things like gaming, torrenting, or bypassing censorship, and still manages to be easy enough for everyday use. And if you're looking for something that's budget-friendly, but still gives you unlimited device support and all the core VPN features you actually need, then Surfshark is a great value pick. It's especially useful for larger households or anyone wanting flexibility without overpaying. And just a reminder, I've included links to each of these in the description, along with any current coupons or discounts if you want to check those out. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions about these VPNs or anything else VPN related, feel free 
free to leave those down in the comments below. I always enjoy getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.